Hey everyone, Josh here. I'm in the middle of doing a timing belt on a 2006 Volkswagen Jetta TDI with a BRM engine code. All right, I'm gonna show two methods here. First off, I'm gonna do the paint and frame method with a, just a normal old paint marker. I'm gonna, then I'm going to check it with the proper timing tools and use VCDS to set the cam torsion value. Uh, the downside of using the paint marker is you're basically putting the new timing belt back on how the old one came off. So hopefully the guy prior to you set cam timing correctly because it can affect power and fuel efficiency. Whereas if you use the tools, which are about 60 bucks or so, your cam timing should be pretty well spot on and you should be able just to check it with the VCDS and uh, shouldn't need much adjustment beyond that. So let's get at her. So here's a cam locked with the tool. Um, so if you're doing the timing belt with the correct tools, it doesn't really matter whether you lock the cam first or the crank, um, but you're going to have to loosen off these three bolts here and you're gonna have to rock the cam gear one way or the other to get both tools locked in at the same time. So I just did the crank one here because I didn't want to film it because it is a tight fit and kind of sucks to get them everything lined up. But as far as the crank, I'll grab the tool. I've got a metal nerd kit here. Um, it's got four sets of holes basically. It's got two threaded ones and then two with tapers. So those are the ones you're going to use on the car. The light situated and everything here. So your pulley's got a little nipple there, so that's where your bottom threaded hole go with the tool just like so it's a little hard trying to tape this while putting it together So let's make it snug and then this pin should slide all the way in. It's not going to because it's out just a hair because of the paint method. Um, I'll maybe I'll get a picture of it when I take this back off of what that tool slides into but you'll see it just above the gear here and the aluminum housing is a little hole. So you can just crank, rock this uh, crank back and forth until that sits in all the way. And then uh, that'll be your cam and your crank locked. So as far as tensioning the belt, uh, a couple things you want to make sure. That this little tab is fully locked into your head. You can see right there. Um, if you're doing the paint and pray method you haven't touched those three bolts on the cam so you're fine to tension it if you're doing it with the tools keep the tools in but keep that cam sprocket loose so it can rotate where it needs to be as you're taking all the slack up on the back side so then it's just a matter of rotating it ahead until that little pointer goes into that window and then you just tighten the nut. Which I gotta put the phone down so I can do that at the same time. So everything's back together. Um, I had some electrical issues so I couldn't set 
torsion value right away, but I've got everything figured out now. So now we can check it. Just take that light off of there. Greasy fingers definitely don't help with the touch screen. But so channel or group four torsion value is set at zero right now. Um, usually aim for plus 0.5 or plus one. That way, as the belt stretches a little bit, it's not going to go too retarded. So it'll be just a matter of. Loosening the three 13 mil bolts and then putting a wrench, an 18 or 19 mil wrench on that center bolt and bumping it ahead just a hair. Um, very little adjustment can make a big difference in timing, so just bump it just a hair and then check again. So on try five, I finally got it. Um, So with it being at zero, I got pretty lucky with not using the tools and just using the paint method. Um, the small adjustments can make a really big difference on fuel mileage and power. So that's definitely one downside of using the paint method. Um, before I did the belt, I had checked it and it was at negative 1.5. So the new belt changed it 1.5 degrees, I guess. So. Depends on how the previous owner, the last guy that did the timing belt, how it was set, whether the paint and pray method will work for you, and if not, the tools with VCDS is definitely uh, the right way or the right thing to do. Um, so I hope this video helped anybody. Um, if uh, you want to see any other videos, this car's been doing seeming to need a lot of work, and up next will be my. Uh, V10 Touareg with the engine coming out for uh, cams as well. Uh, thanks for watching.